Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to update to webOS uh, 3.0.4 if it does not show you in your uh, system updates. So I'm gonna let's go in the settings and there's this thing uh, system updates. So I'm gonna go in there. And it says checking for updates and your device is up to date as you see is 3.0.2 but there is a there is a version uh, 3.0.4 which is uh, available for download now even if you hit refresh it will say your device is up to date now this is another touchpad I have which is uh, updated to uh, 3.0.4 and as you see in this one it's uh, 3.0.2 and it's not letting me update it to 3.0.4 so as always I'm gonna do it uh, while I'm uh, I'm gonna do it for the first time while I'm shooting the video so uh, you guys exactly know how it's going on now for this you will be needing a webOS doctor in order to fix this problem uh, the link I will be posting uh, in the description but uh, this is the link um, and if, you're, if you scroll down on the page, um, there will be a download link, uh, which is right here. It says uh, tablet, Wi-Fi only, and of course we're going to download the latest version 3.0.4 um, because we need to fix that. It's going to be a JAR file, so obviously you need a, a Java installed in your computer and I don't um, uh, um, I won't be able to show you on a Mac uh, but of course I'm gonna show you it on a Windows for Mac uh, if you if you read one of uh, if you read the comments on one of my videos you will see how to fix it on Mac downloaded that uh, um, um, WebOS Doctor. I'm just gonna go ahead and double click on it. Now it's asking me for some information. I'm gonna hit next. Yes, accept. Next, checking system, preparing to install, it's going gonna, it's gonna to install the NOACOM drivers, it's going to ask you for this, you go ahead and hit yes, it's going to install the NOACOM uh, drivers. Now this computer is also new. I, I haven't installed uh, a touchpad or anything to do with touchpad in this computer. So it's saying that uh, connect your device directly to a computer uh, with USB cable. Do not remove uh, the battery or disconnect uh, your device uh, during this process. So uh, now before we proceed. Uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we'll go ahead and turn off the device so we hold on to power button and we shut it down as I said this device is not uh, jailbroken or uh, I don't have any preware on this so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the shutdown and we'll wait till it's shutting down okay now what we'll do is, um, let me put on a little light, okay there. What we'll do is, we'll hold the power button, and we will hold the volume up key, um, which is this one. So we'll hold the power button and volume up key all together, and C, uh, we'll wait till we get that USB, a uh, big USB um, icon on on the screen so I'm holding a volume up key and the power button all together 
There it is. Okay. Connect your USB. Uh, connect your device to uh, to your computer with the USB cable. Now, right now, um, I have this uh, USB icon, but uh, I don't have uh, I don't have my touchpad connected uh, uh, to the computer. Now, you're not supposed to do it uh, until it's, it it's going to ask for it. So, what's going to happen is now I'm going to hook it up. Uh, let me put in some light so you guys can see it. Okay, there it is. Now I'm going to put it um, in the computer. There it is. And it's going to do some installing a device, the driver software. And this button should be available very soon. Okay, now it's, uh, it's done installing the drivers, and there it is, the next button. So you hit next, and it will install the drivers. There's some message in the background, I don't know what is that. Apply these changes, we hit the restart later. And it's doing that and also don't gonna do this uh, while it's um, installing and on your touchpad you will see this HP logo so I mean this this system works with uh, all the devices it's just that you have to download uh, you have to download the right uh, webOS doctor for the uh, right version of the device so now it's giving this logo on a, on a touchpad screen let me put it here the touchpad so at the same time you guys know what's going on Do not disconnect your device. It's downloading the drivers or software onto the system. Now this is the hard way of doing it. If you cannot do it um, through through the air, you know, through Wi-Fi. So if um, while back, probably a month ago or so, uh, there was an update, and you know, it was pushed to the devices without any problem. But uh, um, I just opened up uh, one of my touchpads and. Uh, I, I can't update it, so this is the hard way to do it. Now I think it's going to install it up to 100% and it's going to make some changes. Um, yeah, let's just wait till it goes 100%. Okay, now it's uh, showing HP logo. And <coughs> My download is says reset complete. Your device is now resp restarting. Uh, follow instructions on your device and set your language and uh, sign in your HP profile. So, yeah, the the setup is done as uh, as if your device is brand new. Okay, so once it's uh, done restarting, it's going to take uh, about a minute or so um, to restart. But once it's done, it's going to give you this. Um, you select your language and you go through initial setup as you did it for the first time. There it is, yeah. And it's going to search for the networks and stuff. So yeah, that is it. So as you see it, um, I have a webOS version 3.0.4. Now I'm also gonna uh, mention this. If you want to downgrade your uh, uh, touchpad uh, version, like the software version, if you're not happy with 3.0.4, because some of the preware patches uh, doesn't work on a 3.0.4, and if you just want to continue with that uh, um, 
older version, all you have to do is just download 3.0.2 and probably go the same way and that will uh, put you into 3.0.2. So that's, uh, that's the way to downgrade it, uh, downgrade it and upgrade it the same way. Um, so as I said, if you like the video, uh, go ahead and like it, uh, subscribe, comment. Thank you very much.